So you don't want to buy a Cold Steel SRK, but you still want to go for a budget survival knife option. Today, we're going to be talking about the only other budget survival knife that I recommend. Let's jump into it. Okay, so the SRK for me is probably one of my favorite budget survival knives and being that you can pretty reliably and pretty consistently get these guys for under around 40 to under $50, it's a very hard knife to beat, but there are some downsides to it. It is definitely not a full tang, it does have a hollow grind, and you know it's not everyone's favorite or necessarily cup of tea. Now, with me personally, I've never had any issues with this knife breaking or I've never had this uh, knife, you know, fail on me in any regard or any form or fashion. It's always done anything that I've needed it to do and I have not been particularly kind to it. There definitely are some people that don't like it because it's not full tang and, you know, it does have a hollow grind and so naturally, that they don't like it. It's also not made in the US, so that's another kind of factor that might rule into you disliking the SRK. Now, that being said, there is still a little bit of hope, maybe a glimmer, a chance of redemption, and that is the Ontario RAT or RAT7. And this is essentially the slightly bigger brother to the more expensive SE6. Now, of course, this knife was still designed by the same people that made all of the SEs, uh, but this was designed before the SE6. Of course, the RAT line of knives was made by Ontario Knife Company before SE became SE. That being said, the uh, RAT7 holds a lot of the same properties as the SE6, but it is about half the price. So you're going to be paying around $120 for an SE6, whereas a RAT7 will run you about $65, $68 is what I spent on this guy. So very affordable, and it definitely is affordable for a few reasons. The sheath is uh, not the most mesmerizing in the group, but it is a very functional sheath, and it gets the job done. It keeps the blade safe, and the tension is certainly there. So not a horrible sheath and of course the blade coating is a little bit different, slightly lesser quality and of course this doesn't have the famous Rowan heat treat that all the SEs do. That being said it is still a pretty thick slab of 1095 high carbon and it is very comfortable. In fact I I heard some people complaining about the differential or that the handles on the RAT line of knives were not as uh, contoured as the SE line of knives and actually there's really no difference. These might be slightly more blocky but really still quite comfortable. Anyways, like I said, the SE6 is a very well proven, very good survival knife and so the RAT7 takes in that same lineage, it is also very good. Now the blade length is certainly quite quite long. Of course, it is a RAT7, seven, so 7-inch seven blade length, and so when you put it up against the SRK, you are dealing with at least a couple inches more in blade length, but that may also not be the biggest deal or a deal breaker at all, because if you are going to be using a survival knife, the chances of you having other tools, while well, I certainly would hope that you do have at least at least a saw to use uh, that may not be present or that may not be realistic. So having a nice long, thick, meaty 1095 or slab of 1095 definitely is good. Of course, the other improvement over the SRK is the fact that you are dealing with a true full tang knife. Now, one thing I will say to the SRK's defense in weather, like in the negative temperatures like we are seeing right now, the SRK's handle is going to be a lot more temperature neutral. So when you hold this knife and it's been cold soaked, it is not going to feel particularly cold to uh, the touch. It's also not going to leach warmth out of your hands, especially if you're barehanded and you touch this handle. Whereas with the SC, of course, being that it has that slab of 1095 running through the handle, you are, if you touch this thing, if you hold it for any length of time, it is going to be cold and it is going to leach the hand or the cold. It was going to leach the heat out of your hands. So do keep that in mind. However, of course, that's not applicable at every time of year and not in every uh, particular environment. So that is something to keep in mind. However, like I said, the RAT 
seven for a knife that is under 75 and certainly under a uh, hundred dollars is very hard to beat for a survival knife you are getting a usa made 1095 high carbon um, so for certain conditions the rat seven certainly does work just fine and of course the largely coated blade does mitigate most of the factor of rust of course that is also present on the s SRK because this is also made out of SK5 which is essentially a foreign product 1095 so anyways the RAT7 is my budget alternative to the SRK now of course it does cost uh, a fair bit more about $20 more than the SRK but for the fact that it's still under 75 and well under $100 is very hard to beat if you feel like you need the extra rigidity or robustness that is offered in a full tang. Now for me personally, I think they're both great knives and I have not encountered any issues with my SRK. I've had it for years, put plenty of miles on it uh, and it is just a fantastic knife. Once again, I really only base my opinions off of my own findings and because I have not broken an SRK and I really haven't seen many other brands broken SRKs out there. If any, I cannot really say that these are prone to failure or prone to being unreliable. So I think most of people's fears on it are unfounded. But if that does, if the SRK does not float your boat, the uh, budget alternative definitely is the RAT7. Because like I said, I have not yet put too many miles on the RAT7, my own RAT7, but I do have the RTAC2 the bigger brother to this guy and I have beat the heck out of that one I also have its little brother the rat 3 and I've also beat the heck out of that one so I can tell you that I heavily doubt that the rat 7 will be any different from its bigger and smaller brother and that is that it is a very valid budget alternative for a good general purpose wilderness survival knife and having that longer blade length does help with some things if you want to use it as a draw knife that's certainly a tenable option and of course if you need to do any type of task with the longer blade it is a really great adventure style knife and a very solid survival blade so that is the rat 7 and my as my budget alternative if you don't want an SRK uh, both are fantastic knives in my opinion, but certainly the argument could be made that the RAT7 is a slightly more robust or stronger knife in those regards. So anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video and as always, God bless and I'm out.